As a young illustrator in the 1920s, Mead Schaefer found plenty of work, illustrating fiction for magazines like Good Housekeeping and McCall's, as well as children's books. But at some point, he got, as he put it, sick of painting dudes and dandies, exaggerated sentiment, and artificial romance. He might have been swayed by the realism of his friend and next-door neighbor, Norman Rockwell. In 1942, the Post featured a series of war-related illustrations by the two artists. They included Rockwell's Four Freedoms and 15 covers by Schaefer, featuring American servicemen. Each cover showed the artist's close attention to details. For example, his first post cover faithfully reproduced the paratrooper's uniform and the proper way for paratroopers to hold their guns. Three soldiers had jumped before this man, indicated by the webbing that streamed out of the door, and strips of tape had been placed at the edge of the fuselage that could snag equipment or clothing. The third cover in the series shows a convoy sailor on lookout. At the Navy's request, Schaefer rearranged the stars overhead. Their precise location in the original version would have revealed the route that U.S. convoys were taking to Murmansk, Russia. Schaefer traveled with a submarine crew to paint this cover and was aboard a Coast Guard patrol boat to sketch its anti-aircraft gun in action. The boat was so narrow, the only way Schaefer could see the gunner was to hang over the side of the boat with a crew member holding onto his belt. After the war, Schaefer traveled across the country to capture the variety of American landscapes. He still honed in on the details that added a sense of realism. Sometimes his dedication led him away from reality. This 1946 cover showed a meal being prepared on a chuck wagon in cattle country. The wagon and equipment were all authentic, but they had to be dug out of storage. They had long been out of use. Ranchers now fed their men from pickup trucks. The setup was photographed by Schaefer's wife. Normally, Schaefer stayed away from cameras to stage his covers. He preferred working with live models to accurately capture the way clothing looked on people. The faces, though, were Schaefer's own creation. Many of his covers show men in a variety of occupation and captured scenes from American life that had been preserved by America's victory in the war.